pray that because some of y'all, some of y'all have not gotten the truth. That's the thing. Yeah, some of y'all, Queen of Swords there at the bottom. Some of y'all never got the truth. And I pray that you get the truth and the closure you deserve. They could have cut a piece of your hair. I noticed that hair was there on the desk. So this person, if you guys were having an intimate encounter, they could have took a piece of your hair and brought it to a witch, okay, to do a ritual. Um, There could have been a Pisces, Gemini, Libra, or a Leo, but I guess strong Scorpio energy. But it could have been 10 months for some of you, or it could have been a whole, a whole year. For some of you, two years in here. For some of you, this could be somebody that's... It's like they're living with their parents, but they're not they're not working towards anything or they're not doing anything or they play video games all day. Um, or like they drink or they gamble all day. They sleep all day. They, they could have some sort of mental illness they could have had. But it's like, all right, my beautiful Cancerians, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Stars Exide here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is what's the tea. It is a general read, so take what resonates. Cross washers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read. For my beautiful Cancerians, what messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. All right, let's see here. Oh, you have Pluto there. So this is Scorpio energy. You could see the death or judgment card. Here you have number 11. So this is the justice card. This is Libra energy, Venus energy. And here you have Gemini. So this is the lovers and the magician, Mercury energy. So I do see here, Cancer, the T is... It almost feels like communication. Eight of swords, the tower. Somebody's stuck on you. Man. Yeah. Somebody's stuck on you. Like, they don't, they don't want you to move on, or... Let's see here. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands in Reverse, and Judgment. There's the Judgment card. Knight of Wands in Reverse. S someone, okay. And it's like, yeah, it was like a situation of breadcrumbing here. Like, you were breadcrumbed. It could have been ten months for some of you, or it could have been a whole, a whole year. For some of you, two years. Your your time was robbed. Your time was robbed or it was wasted. Six of Pentacles, like Seven of Cups. Somebody was trying to keep you confused. Uh, wanted you to not move forward. They still don't want you to move forward. The Hermit is here. It's like pulling on your energy. Yeah, the sun. Spirit is saying yes. You you have two yeses here, the ace of pentacles and the sun. So it's really important that you do like a, a cord cl a cutting ritual. Excuse me. You see, I can barely speak. There was hardly any communication here. This is a situation. Okay, somebody here is coming back in. And you know, that's why I was getting that Pluto. Number 11 came out upside down. And then you had Gemini there, the lovers and the magician. Somebody is coming back in because they don't want you to move on, okay? This is someone that goes to you or, or they, like, left everything complicated. This could have taken, like, 10 months. For some of you, two years. Like, and it's like you lost your time. You didn't get anything out of this situation, is what I'm saying here. You just stayed stuck. The, the, this, this individual was selling the illusion. They were always selling an illusion, that you guys were eventually going to end up together and there's nothing here. For some of you, this could be somebody that's, it, it's like they're living with their parents, but they're not, they're not working towards anything or they're not doing anything or they play video games all day. Um, or like they drink or they gamble all day. They sleep all day. They, they could have some sort of mental illness they could have had, but it's like they're coming back with this offer. 
Yeah, you see, I can't even make it up. The Six of Cups is there. This is past energy. That's past. The Six of Cups is all about the past. You see, Knight of Wands in reverse, judgment, they don't want you to let them go. They want you to hold on. Yeah, the Jonas Brothers, hold on. That song, who remembers that? That's old. Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. Yeah, they don't want you to move forward. This individual could have like some sort of uh, mental illness. They could be depressed. They could have anxiety. But they don't want you to move forward. So let's keep going. Let's see here. What else Spirit has to tell us? High Priestess at the bottom. Hmm. Ace of sort, no, you see, I pray that because some of y'all, some of y'all have not gotten the truth. That's the thing. Yeah, some of y'all, the Queen of Swords there at the bottom, some of y'all never got the truth. And I pray that you get the truth and the closure you deserve. Because I see here a lot of time was wasted. And it's because this person had somebody else on the side or they already had two people on the side. They were already in a connection. They could have even been married to someone else and you were like the hidden person and they never told you this but they they don't they didn't want you to move on they didn't want you to move on they saw you as a catch they they saw you as one of a kind so they didn't want you to walk away from them wheel of fortune in reverse yeah this is why things never moved forward this is why things never move forward this is why the star card this is why there is never a brand new beginning there, there was a, never a brand new beginning or things never really took off. It's because this person has somebody on the side. They have somebody on the side. They could have had hidden marriage. They could have even had hidden children with the sun card there. There could have been a hidden child here. Eight of Pentacles. And again, I, it almost feels like the Two of Swords. judgment judgment oh god what's going on here it almost feels like yeah no seven of swords th th there was a lot of lying temperance yeah yeah no you 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 your time was wasted cancer i'm sorry the high priestess yeah no that this is very this is very secretive this individual was if they didn't have a hidden marriage they had somebody else that they were traveling to at night, okay? They were seeing somebody else at night. Either they were going back home to their wife, their husband. It could even be, for some of you, this person was secretly bisexual. So, you know, if this was a man, he could have been going home to, like, another man. You know, no judgment, but, you know, like, this could have been the case for some of you. Um, there's also an energy here of someone having hidden children. So that could be the case for some of you. But the overall energy here is that this person played you and you lost a lot of time. Now this individual, it's like they're seeing that you're detached or, or you're not showing any, any interest in them anymore. And they're starting to get nervous because it's like they don't, they don't want you. Yeah, I'm hearing wrapped around my finger. That's what I heard, wrapped around my finger. This person wants you wrapped around their finger, Cancer. They, they want you, it's like they want you to be obedient to them, to submit to them. Like, they want full control. But the Seven of Swords and the, the High Priestess, you can't trust this person. You can't trust anything that they say. They're a liar. They have a lot of secrets, uh, hidden agendas, hidden intentions. And these are not good intentions. With the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess, these are not good intentions. This is someone, honestly, this is someone that feels like an entitled... Uh, an entitled individual or like a narcissist, okay? Uh, just just very, very karmic. And they're coming in to make this offer to you, I want to say before the end of 2022, but you guys, are, you guys are fighting. You guys are getting into a disagreement, an argument here. Yep, the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is all about competition, arguments, fighting. Spirit is basically, yeah, Six of Swords. It's almost like this person is going through bad karma and 
they they they're blaming you for the bad karma that they're going through. It's like they're blaming you. This is the five of wands and the five. This person is crazy. Look, they're like I'm not trying to point the finger, but they're a strong Scorpio energy here. Like this could have been a Scorpio that you were dealing with. Um, there could have been a Pisces, Gemini, Libra, or a Leo, but I guess strong Scorpio energy, but th this person, like, they're meant, right now, it seems to me like they're going through psychosis or something, like, they're having a mental break. You need to keep your distance from this individual because they're, it's like they're unstable. It, it feels to me like at any moment they're gonna snap, and I feel like they want to snap at you. To make some sort of trauma bond. It's like they want to argue with you. Scream at you. Blame you for all the hardships that they're going through right now in their life. And then they're going to say they're sorry. It's like. It's toxic. It, it, it's it's just really, really nasty. Um, there's no other way I can put it. It seems. Uh, Knight of Cuffs. Yeah, they're making an offer here. But you don't want this offer. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, like, you you don't want their, their crumbs. You don't want their crumbs, and they're pissed off. That That's what this is. You don't want the crumbs because that's what they gave you in the past. So you don't want to hear it this time around. You're good. Yeah, the world, you close out the cycle. You know what this is? Eight of Swords. This person does not want you to close out the cycle. You see how she's tied up? You see how she's trapped? But the world is there. The world in the original Rider Way Tarot is a naked woman. This individual wants... S-E-X. This is what they're coming in. This is the offer. This has been coming up in so many of the signs, so many of the reads. You guys got to be careful. And you guys really got to do a cord cutting or an energy cleanse because this is like the dominant energy for a lot of you. This individual is trying to come in and have their way with you. And this is why they're arguing because you're rejecting them. You're rejecting them. You're, you're not doing it with them. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like they wanted to just keep you confused. They they want you to be confused. The Six of Swords keeps coming out. What What is the Six of Swords? What is the, the, the tower on the side or the tower almost in reverse? Someone knows that they have to change, that they have to end something, but they don't want to do it. They just want you to compromise. Yeah, that Eight of Swords. Like, they just want you to remain trapped. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Spirit is saying... That you need to have boundaries when it comes to this person. You need to have boundaries. You need to not um, let them sway you with their words or with their charm. Yeah, the moon, the strength card. The fool, the emperor, king of cups, queen of swords, three of wands. This person basically wants to keep you from, from moving on. They they only want you all to themselves. This is this is somebody that's crazy. Okay, the, the, this person is delusional. They are crazy. They they are having like a mental break. I I don't know what it is. They could have cut a piece of your hair. I noticed that hair was there on the desk. So this person, if you guys were having an intimate encounter, they could have took a piece of your hair and brought it to a witch. Okay, to do a ritual, or they could have done a ritual to your piece of hair. But this is their goal. And they want you stuck. So Spirit is sending y'all the warning to stand your ground and don't fall for this person's tricks. This person is a trickster and they're they're trying to make all this chaos and confusion around you. They they want you to be confused so that you don't stand up for yourself. What would be the next card? Yeah, the hangman. You see, I can't make it up. Spirit keeps saying the same thing. This person wants you stuck. They want you stuck. They, they, y'all gotta run. Y'all gotta run for your lives. Don't even look back. This person has not showed the crazy possessive side, but when they do, I'm telling y'all, when they do, you're gonna go running to the hills. So yeah, that's a T. They're, they're crazy and possessive and they see you as their property and they have a bunch of a bunch of secrets, secret romance happening behind the scenes, third parties, you name it, they have it. So this is like a warning from spirit. 
to watch this person. So that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and love.